So, you want to learn how to generate real estate leads without any old school prospecting? Well, I've got a marketing strategy for you that will allow you to generate the type of prospects you want to work with. This video is part three. If you're new to this channel, I'm Sebastian Malinowski and I help real estate agents grow their business without any of this old school prospecting like it's 1985. If you want to get more of my videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. Don't forget the ringy dingy bell button, otherwise the YouTube algorithm may not even send you my videos. Right Bob? <laughs> That's right. Ringy dingy. Go ahead. Now even though we're talking about how to generate real estate leads, we have to understand the whole process. By the way, at the end of this video, I'll show you how you can download your own tribe agent roadmap. In part one of the video, we talked about the avatar. You have to know what type of client you want to work with, and it's different for every agent. Some want to work with first time buyers, some with only luxury sellers, some only with investors. Well, you can't start generating leads unless you know who that lead is. Then we talked about the message. Once you know who your avatar is and what problem you're trying to solve, well, now you have to send a message. I gave you two examples of a car ad, one being very generic and one being very specific. And we spoke about the huge differences that a message will make. Now we talk about the offer. The offer is the thing that's going to solve their problem. The message is essentially I'm offering to help. The offer is, here's how I'm going to help you. Does that make sense? It all has to work together to generate an actual lead. That's why sometimes it's not as easy as, hey, let's put up a Facebook ad. And then it's, hey, that ad's not working. You see, there's an actual strategy, a game plan for generating a lead, but not just any lead, the type of lead that you want to attract. So once somebody clicks on your ad, what do they see? Hopefully your solution. In this step, the offer, you're going to create a visual representation for your avatar that will bring them from point A to point B. Point A is their problem. Point B is the problem has now been solved. When I say visual representation, I mean something they can see like a PDF, something they can download that will solve their immediate problem. Let me give you some examples so you know what I'm talking about. First, let's take a look at some 1985 things that maybe used to work, but these days, mm, not so much. Here's a good one, free home evaluation. Yeah, free, sure it is. We both know it's not really free. What's the point of this type of marketing? to invite yourself into somebody's house. And we've all seen these ads. The public has seen these ads. The public is sick of these ads. These ads just don't work. What if a car dealership started advertising free test drives? Can you imagine flipping through the local newspaper or you're online, one of the dealership's websites and you see free test drives? No way. What? We both know you can go to any dealership and get a free test drive. Just like the public knows they can reach out to any real estate agent for a free home evaluation. There's no need to go out there and actually try to generate lead by saying free home evaluation. That stuff just stopped working years ago, but it was great back in 1985. We both know this type of marketing is very self-serving. Free home evaluation, free test drives. What problem is this type of marketing actually addressing or solving? That's right, none. Who is that type of marketing actually serving? The agent or the car dealership? Let's get real here. We're keeping it real. I've got a few more examples up my sleeve. Now, if you haven't seen any of these, let me know. Let's go with some geographical farming, shall we? As in delivering flyers. Now I'm warning you, if you haven't seen them, these are mind blowing things. Just listed, just sold. Have you seen any of these flyers? You have? What? We sold another one in your neighborhood. So if you're thinking of selling your home, 
give us a call. Again, what problems does this type of messaging or marketing actually fix? The real estate agent's problem, right? As in lack of commission. Now let's look at some messaging that may actually work in uh, 2019, may actually cause somebody to stop thumbing through Facebook, may cause somebody to actually take action. That's what you want, isn't it? I'm going to give you three different examples so you can hopefully see the trend, how the messaging should work. First, let's look at a first time buyer avatar. What problems would a first time buyer have? Well, there are many, but I don't want to make this video like two hours long. So let's pick a couple, probably how to get financing. They've never done it before. That's a problem. Let's see a second one how to come up with a down payment. That's also another one. We're not going to go through the whole list. Let's stick with these two. So when it comes to visual representation, what could you put together that would address these two problems? Now, before we go any further, I just want to address, you can't address, address, you can't address, you can't address more than one problem in each of your marketing pieces. Human beings have very simple brains. We can only pay attention to one thing. So when it comes to generating leads, only focus on solving one problem for one avatar. Does that make sense? So your PDF would essentially solve that one problem for that avatar, bring them from point A to B. Let's take a look at a second example. A seller. Let's take a look at seller. You want more listings, right? Okay. So what problem or problems? Again, there are many. What problems would a seller have? One I can think of the top of my head, how to increase their home value before even calling an agent. How do I make sure I have enough money left over so I can put a down payment on my second home that I want to buy? You see a seller would have more than one problem, but you can only address one problem in your marketing. I feel like I'm repeating myself here now, Bob. I am right. Yeah. So your avatar would be a seller. The messaging would be, can I show you how to maximize your home value? The offer would be, here's how you actually do it. Are things starting to come together a little bit more now? Okay. Let's see. Third example. Let's take a look at an investor. Again, they have multiple problems. Let's pick out a couple. Well, what I can see is how would I locate that perfect property that would give me the biggest ROI as an investor, they're looking for an ROI. Second problem would be how do I finance my next project? Okay. So pick a problem now create a visual representation to walk the investor from a having a problem to B. Oh, perfect. That problem's fixed. So you see, in order to generate good real estate leads, it's not as simple as let's just throw up a Facebook ad. This is the third video of a series and we still haven't even put together the full funnel that's going to capture the lead because you can't possibly create a lead or generating a lead unless you know who you're trying to target. What is the perfect messaging that will attract them? And how are you actually going to solve the problem? Without that, there are no leads. I have a question for you and please put your answer in the comments section below. Who is your perfect avatar? Be very specific. Don't say a buyer or a seller. If you want some bonus points, if you really want to go full out, let me know what one problem is that they have. Go ahead. I'll wait comment section below. We're wrapping up here, Bob. All right, cool. So listen, if you want to download the tribe agent roadmap, the link is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Have an awesome day.